Sunglasses are one of the most practical accessories you'll ever own. They protect your eyes from the sun's damaging rays, and they stop you from squinting, which is a bad look that can cause premature wrinkling on your face. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about some wisdom lines, but I don't want to look like a raisin by the time I'm 50 years old. Plus, while the wrong pair of sunglasses will make you look and feel kind of silly or self-conscious, the right pair will make you look cool, classy, and sharp. No matter what kind of face you have, you can look amazing in sunglasses as long as they're the right pair for you. I never used to wear sunglasses, but once I figured out how to find frames that looked good on my face, I started wearing them almost every day. So why is it so hard to find a good pair? Well, I think there are two reasons. One reason is that there are just so many options to choose from. Thousands of brands, styles, sizes, and shapes, many of which are only available online. And second, there's a lot of subpar advice out there. You've probably found lots of the same old confusing advice about face shapes, right? Like this article that tries to tell us Ryan Gosling's face is shaped like a triangle. I'm no geometry expert, but I'm pretty sure that's not a triangle. It's actually amazing how many blog posts and infographics are rehashing this same old worn out advice about face shapes, because that method doesn't seem very helpful. I've never actually seen a person with a triangle or heart or diamond shaped face. Have you? My face is just shaped like, well, a face. So forget shapes. With this video and corresponding blog post, I've tried to create a simple, practical guide for choosing sunglasses that has nothing to do with shapes. So don't worry, you won't have to figure out whether your face is an upside down trapezoid or an isosceles triangle. Instead, you just have to understand three simple points. The first two have to do with the size of your face, and the third one is about facial features. Let's start with size. Number one, face width. The width of your face is the distance across your face from temple to temple. And this is the most important thing to consider when you're choosing sunglasses. One of the most common mistakes people make is wearing sunglasses that are too wide for their face. See, when it comes to attractiveness and how we see other people, us human beings find symmetry and proportion to be aesthetically pleasing. So if you wanna be attractive, you should wear sunglasses that make you look as symmetrical and proportional as possible. Frames that are way wider or way narrower than your face do just the opposite. For example, I have a narrow face, so I need to wear narrow sunglasses. Wide sunglasses will make my already narrow face look even narrower. Now you might be wondering how to figure out if sunglasses are wide or narrow. It's actually really easy. Most sunglasses brands print the frame width on the actual frames, and they include this information in their online shops. Sometimes you'll see lens width and bridge width instead of frame width, but you can add those up to get the overall width or the frame width of the glasses. Now what you should do is measure your face using a ruler or a tape measure and then use this table to figure out the best frame width for you. The second most important factor when choosing sunglasses is the length of your face. Face length is the distance from the top of your forehead to the bottom of your chin. If your face is about as long as it is wide, you have a short face. If, like me, your face is a lot longer than it is wide, you have a long face. For the mathematicians out there, there's an easy way to figure this out. If the length of your face is one and a half times the width of your face or more, you have a long face. To use real numbers, my face is about eight inches from top to bottom, and it's about five inches wide. So the length is greater than one and a half times the width. Now, if this seems overly complicated, you can kind of just look in the mirror and guess. Just like with width, the key is to choose sunglasses that match your dimensions. Short sunglasses don't look good on me because they make my face look longer. I want to balance out my face's length by choosing longer frames. To figure out if sunglasses are long or short, look at the lens height. The lens is the tallest part of the sunglasses, and anytime you're shopping for sunglasses, you can usually find the lens height listed on the product page. Now in general, short sunglasses will have a lens height of less than 36 millimeters. Average or medium glasses will be in the 36 to 44 millimeters range, and taller frames will have a lens height of more than 44 millimeters. Now there is one other measurement you might want to consider if you have eyes that are extra close together or far apart, and that's the bridge width. If you have close set eyes, stick with a narrow bridge width. If your eyes are far apart, go with a wider bridge width. This isn't as important as overall width, but it's just something to consider. The third thing to think about when choosing sunglasses are your facial features. Everybody's face is made up of a bunch of lines. 
These lines are determined by things like bone structure and body fat percentage. These lines make up the overall feel of a person's face, and that's why we describe some people as having a round face or a chiseled jaw. Think of this as a spectrum. On one side of the spectrum, we have curvy, round, soft lines. On the other side, we have straight, angular, hard lines. But here's the thing. Most people fall somewhere in the middle of this spectrum with a mix of curvy and straight features. If that's the case for you, you don't really have to worry about this part of the lesson. Just focus on finding sunglasses that are the right size for your face. But if you are clearly on one end of the spectrum, pay attention because certain glasses will look really bad on you. The key is balance. Just like with size, you want to choose glasses that balance out your features rather than emphasizing them. So if you have extremely round features, you should avoid extremely round frames. If you have extremely angular features, you should avoid extremely angular frames. For example, even though I'm not an extreme case like Aziz Ansari, I do have relatively round features. So I'm going to avoid super round frames and instead stick with frames that have some sharper angles. Same goes for Jet Li. He looks way better in rectangular sunglasses than circular sunglasses. Elijah Wood, on the other hand, looks better in round frames than square frames. While CeeLo Green, who might have the roundest face of them all, looks great in sunglasses with lots of sharp angles, Daniel Radcliffe can pull off the circular frame in a way that's downright magical. That's a lot of information, so let's review really quick, and then I'm going to give you a quiz to test your sunglasses expertise. If you want to pick the best sunglasses for your face, consider three things. The width of your face, the length of your face, and the features or lines of your face. Got it? Okay, let's see if you really understand this stuff. Which of these sunglasses are the best choice for me? Go ahead and pick a couple. I'll wait. Okay, ready? First, let's eliminate the frames that are too wide. Now, let's get rid of the ones that are too round. And we have to remove one more pair that's just a little bit too short. And we're left with these four. Did you pick one of these? If you didn't, don't feel too bad. It was kind of a trick question. My favorite pair of sunglasses is actually this pair, which wasn't one of the choices in the quiz. These are the perfect size and shape for my face. I love these shades. I hope this video helps you pick that perfect pair of sunglasses that make you look and feel great. And if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this content, be sure to subscribe and until next time, stay stylish. Oh,